I think you have to accept it's times like this there really is no shame in walking a gravel bike or any bike for that matter Hello again YouTube. Well, a week has passed and the first couple of rides are in on the Planet X on one Free Ranger. And I have to say, I absolutely adore this bike. So here, direct from the trail, are my thoughts on the bike. So the first ride, or the second ride actually, on the Free Ranger this morning. And uh, I am so in love with this bike, honestly. Um, Firstly, I mean, it looks great, doesn't it? Come on. I know beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but um, I certainly like it. And for me, the beauty is that moment when I got to the end of a road back there and just thought, I'm taking off down the trail. If I'd have been on my road bike, I'd have been just confined to the road for the rest of the ride. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but come on, this just gives you a lot more variety. This bike actually makes me feel like I felt about years ago. Um, I used to ride motorbikes and I got my first proper 600 sports bike, a CBR 600, and um, that thing was wonderful. It was so good that I would literally, I'd commute on it and my 15 minute commute home in the evening would turn into sort of like an hour where I'd just go ride in it because I enjoyed it. And I feel like that about this bike. This bike has kind of given me a bit of a a bit of a, I don't know, it's put some fun back into cycling that wasn't there. You know, don't get me wrong, I love cycling, um, but it's become a bit of a tool, you know, it's become a training tool, it's become a thing I do as part of my training. Whereas this bike just screams at you to just go out and have fun. So, what can I tell you about it? Well, let's begin with the group set. The, the Rival, uh, Shram Rival, I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Is it Rival, Rival, what? You know, somebody please tell me in the comments. Um, my first experience with Shram Double Tap, and I love it. I thought it was going to take me a little while to adapt to, but it's really, really intuitive. That one click to go up the gears, two clicks to go down the gears, and three gears if you're panicking. Love it. Um, the one thing I would say about Shram One By, and I've got Shram One By on my mountain bike. And I've had it on two mountain bikes, in fact. I had it on a Trek Roscoe, and I've got it on a Calibre Triple B. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the actual shifts, it can feel, just, or it feels to me, just a little bit agricultural at times. But um, obviously, you know, you've got a much different spacing on that rear cassette compared to a road cassette. So I dare say that that has got a lot to do with it. Another thing about these... Um, these shifters here, that that long top on them, really comfortable. Really, it's something else to shift your grip onto uh, when you need to. So I really, really like that. The frame on this bike feels um, actually quite taut. Uh, on the road, it surprised me with how unslow it is. Uh, come on, let's be honest, it's not a fast bike, it's not intended to be a fast bike, but it ain't slow. I thought it was going to feel ponderous on the road, but it certainly does not. It, um, it feels quite sprightly, if I'm honest, and certainly, you know, with, with my mates, I'd have no problem keeping up with them on this. One thing that I did want to talk about is frame size. Um, if you've seen my other video, the video on the Planet X Pro Carbon Evo, you know I probably bought that one too big. I bought an XL frame set in that. This is a large, um, as I said in that other video, I'm 186 centimeters. As you can see, I'm a bit of a lump. I'm not a lightweight and this fits me perfectly. There's still plenty of, plenty of adjustment for me in the seat post and um, the reach is pretty good, actually. Um, in fact, the reach feels just a little bit long, so I'm even considering just getting a slightly shorter stem, but uh, much better to have this situation than having bought the too large frame like I did with the Pro Carbon Evo. Now, one thing that uh, I did want to talk about is these tires. 
and you can probably see that um, mud tires they ain't but come on Ian they are called hard packs so um, you know that I don't think they were ever designed for mud and as you saw with that little bit back there um, no chance no chance mate I was walking it every time when I got to that um, I mean on the road they're fine and if you get them on some decent gravel they're fine um, it's a gravel bike come on you know they're not uh, super sticky mud tires now having said that a lot of the uh, the trails near me are pretty much like you see here we are um, in a place called Pagglesham in Essex noted for having a pub owned by the uncle of Jamie Oliver and uh, the final resting place of HMS Beagle um, I think that I mentioned that in one of my other videos but they're muddy you know this is uh, you get a lot of water drains down off the seawall onto these trails even the top of the seawall isn't particularly firm so um, there's a lot of mud around me and these long grassy muddy trails um, because the the bike is going to be doing a lot of these long grassy muddy trails um, I'm just thinking of going to something with uh, a little bit more mud ability um, I understand something like a Terravale Portland could be wrong on that uh, or Rutland I think it is would be a good choice um, judged on a couple of videos I've seen so yeah really really impressed so I'm going to stop talking now and get on with riding it So just to try and summarise what I didn't capture very eloquently on the side of the trail there, um, let's talk about the bike, you know, let's talk about the, the things that matter. Group set, fantastic. Love the double tap on the SRAM. Love SRAM 1 by. I've had it on a couple of mountain bikes and it really works. Like I say, the only observation, it's not a criticism, it is an observation, is there's sometimes a noticeable clunk between ratios and that's probably just down to the spacing on the cassette. Funnily enough, somebody in the first video said, I, I was, I've thought about one by, but I've kind of not pulled the pin because I'm not sure I'd be happy with the spacing between the ratios. You don't really notice it. All I really notice is that clunk sometimes when it's sort of like shifting between the gears. And there could be a multitude, multitude of reasons for that. The frame actually feels quite stiff. It feels stiffer than I thought it would. But I suppose that makes sense because it's quite a beefy, chunky frame designed to take a lot of abuse. So it probably would feel quite stiff. What that translates to is on the road, really good transfer of power. It feels a lot more sprightly on the road than I thought it would. Like I say, you know, I thought it would feel quite ponderous on the road, but it actually feels quite, quite lively um, for the type of bike it is. Considering that it's wearing sort of like 38 millimeter tires with a, a kind of semi-tread pattern on there. Those tyres, there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, if you're going to use this as a gravel bike and mainly on hard pack trails, you'll have no problem with those tyres at all. As you saw, I did have a few um, issues getting through the muddy stuff that we've got around here, but hey, it's Essex. You know, it's, it's kind of so low that every bit of water in the country probably drains here. So that probably gives you most of your problems. Um, having said that, I think I am going to switch to something with a slightly beefier tread pattern. Um, but we'll see how we go with them. You know, I'm through with spending a lot of money on just changing OE tyres just for the sake of it. So I'm going to see how I go with these. And there were a couple of places today, like that first bit in the intro video where I just walked up it. Because honestly, that you can't see it, but that little piece of mud is like ice. So, you know, I just thought for the sake of walking, what is it, 50 metres, it was worth walking. But I think these tyres will do most of what I want them to do. The braking on this SRAM group set, now the brake pads are bedded in, it feels fantastic. You get a lot of control and, like I say, really good modulation with it. You always know what it's doing. It always it kind of inspires a lot of confidence. And I think that's important, especially when you're on the muddy stuff and the rough. Uh, that you've got a braking system that you can rely on. So there's that. Finishing kit on the bike is fine. One of the surprises for me was that saddle. You know, I've had previous Planet X bikes with, I think, almost exactly the same saddle. I'll be honest with you. I think the Pro Carbon Evo came with exactly the same saddle on it. 
and I swapped it out almost immediately. You know what? I had a couple of decent rides on this. In fact, today I did three hours in the saddle and it's all right, you know? It's not fantastic. I'm not going to, you know, it's not like the first time you ride an Adamo saddle and you sort of bed in with it and you think, actually, it's pretty good. You know, it, it's not like that. But the thing about it is you just don't notice it. So again, it's another thing I don't have to change. And talking of things I don't have to change, I'm not going to change the handlebars just for the time being. I've got the spare um, flared bars ready to go. Uh, they're just sitting in the bike shed ready to go. But... I don't think the sort of trails I've got around me demand them. So until I get to a point where, you know, I'm really bored one Saturday and want something to do, I think I'm going to leave the standard bars on there and see how I go with them. The um, riding position, now I've flipped the stem and got the setup right for me. It's all day comfortable. Um, really, I would spend all day on this bike. You know, if you wanted to go bike packing on this, I think you'd be fine with it. It's quite a relaxed riding position and, um, well, it would be, wouldn't it? You know, given the type of bike it is, but it just, it just feels right all the time. So there you go. The Planet X on one free ranger gravel bike, my latest bike and, um, one that I think is going to push a couple of others out of the stable. Um, if you're in the market for perhaps a Planet X Pro Carbon Evo or a uh, Caliber Triple P mountain bike that you might have seen on this channel, uh, drop me a DM and uh, maybe we can talk. Uh, because I honestly think that those two are going to be on eBay or Marketplace pretty soon. Um, just given that this is such a capable all-rounder. Anyway, thanks for watching this one, YouTube. I'll catch you in the next.